Kajabi is hands down the best all-in-one tool for building your online business. They have amazing tools from start to finish to help you build a very successful business from email marketing, design, et cetera, et cetera. But sometimes we need a little bit of extra help or maybe you like a different tool and you want to incorporate that into your Kajabi workflow. That's where third-party integrations come in. So today I'm gonna walk you through how to set up third-party integrations in Kajabi. If you wanna take advantage of a free 30-day trial of Kajabi to play with the platform yourself, you can use my link profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi. This is an affiliate link, so I get a small percentage of your investment in Kajabi, but there's no extra cost to you compared to if you went through Kajabi's website yourself. All this does is simply support me and this channel for referring someone to Kajabi. But when you sign up with my link, I'm gonna give you instant access to a course I created called Kajabi Kickstart, which is gonna help you set up and launch your online business with Kajabi in that first 30 days. On top of that, when you're inside of Kajabi Kickstart, you will have access to a free 45 minute coaching session with me where you and I both get to deep dive into your Kajabi account and I will be there to answer any questions you have about Kajabi, marketing, or even making your first sale with the platform. All of this is free and you can get instant access by going to profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi or clicking the link down in the description. Without further ado, let's dive into Kajabi. To get started with any third-party integrations, we're first gonna have to go down to the settings tab in our Kajabi dashboard. From here, you're gonna get a bunch of different settings. Obviously, we wanna go to third-party integrations. When you click on that, you're gonna get a big list or semi-large list of different tools that you can integrate with Kajabi. For example, if you really like using ConvertKit, ActiveCampaign, or MailChimp, for your email marketing and you already have your list over there and maybe you just like their interface more than you like Kajabi's even though they do email marketing uh, inside of Kajabi, then you could connect your MailChimp account, ConvertKit, ActiveCampaign account to Kajabi and make sure that everything's making sense so when people opt in to your pages inside of ActiveCampaign, um, that if, or if they put in their email address, we'll say, into ActiveCampaign, it can translate over to people in Kajabi and the different products and things and be able to link different automations together um, from these different tools, okay? Personally, I use everything in Kajabi in my business. It's just simple, it makes sense. I like everything having everything in one place. But if you're wanting to do this, then all you really have to do is just flick the little switch on. And for each one of these tools, you need to get your API key um, from MailChimp and MailChimp is gonna ask you for an API key or an API secret from your Kajabi account. The way that you actually get that information from Kajabi is by going up to manage account and from there, you can scroll down and you'll be able to see API credentials. And if you ever wanna learn more about how to set up each individual tool, Kajabi has a wonderful help center inside that I recommend you dive into. And you can just click right here, learn more, and then they'll bring you over to a little page where you can even, from this page, click uh, connect ClickFunnels with Kajabi or connect MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, ConvertKit, Aweber, uh, segment, drip. You can do all of those right here and just kind of click on the one that makes sense to you and they give you a really short video tutorial on how to do it, where to find the different things. Okay, so they make it really easy for you. You just have to make sure it's toggled on and that you get the right information from the right provider. You can also connect analytic tools as well as a third-party provider like Segment or Google Analytics and Facebook Pixel if you're running Facebook ads and you want everything to communicate well with your Kajabi account. Again, you just need to turn it on and then it's gonna ask for Pixel ID, access token, that's all inside your Facebook ad account. Okay, same with Google Analytics as well. And then if you see a tool here that you use but that you can't see as being uh, accessible with Kajabi. These are just the main ones that Kajabi recommends to connect or that they know people like to connect with their Kajabi account. You can always set up a Zapier account by just clicking connect right here. And then they're gonna show you different zaps that they already have set that are very common and make it really easy for you to get it set up like Stripe and Kajabi, 
uh, PayPal, add new Kajabi customers as MailChimp subscribers. Okay, you can play around with this and sign up for Zapier. When you get into Zapier, uh, they're just going to need that API key, that API secret, and that information to make sure that the right account gets connected with the right Zapier account. So when you're setting up third-party integrations in Kajabi, it is pretty straightforward. It's a little tedious, but Kajabi's here to help you. They give you tutorials. You can even message them in chat and they will hands-on help you as well. The nice thing is that once you set it up, you can just set it and forget it and just go on with building your business. If you're thinking about trying out Kajabi yourself, consider using my link, profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi to get a free 30-day trial, a free course that I give you upon signing up for your trial, and then you'll also get some coaching from me. All of it is free and you get access to it right when you sign up with my link. I just get a small portion uh, of your investment for referring you, but there's no extra cost to you whatsoever. Profityourknowledge.com slash Kajabi. There are links down in the description. If you have any more questions about third-party integrations inside of Kajabi, let me know in a comment below. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next one.